Hi, CodeMonkey here. You may remember that last week we were learning how to make objects jump in Phaser 3 and that we were logging out a variable called power to be able to see how high the ball was going to jump. Well, we can take that same variable and apply it to an image to be able to make a jump meter. And that's what we'll be covering today. Let me say real quick, thank you to all that have subscribed or checked out my Udemy or Skillshare courses. And thank you to those that have commented below to give me new ideas on videos to make. And we'll be having some of those videos come up in the near future. But today we'll be doing jump meters. So let's get started. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. In the last video, we talked about how to jump based on how long the mouse is held down, and we logged that result out over here in the console. But what if we want the player to be able to see how high they're going to jump? It would be nice to give them a meter. And I've added one image in here, green. It's just a 25 by 25 green square, but you'll be able to download the source code at phasergames.com. I'm going to take advantage of the utility templates built in features right now to add an align grid. And if you'd like to know more about those features that are in there, there's the video up there at the top. I'll put the link at the top now. And this a grid equals new align grid. And we pass in the scene, which is this, and the number of rows. And I'll make it 11, and the number of columns, also 11 this a grid show numbers and we're going to create that meter and we'll put it right over here at number 100 first thing we need to do is preload that image this load image green images green dot png and then down here at the end of create we'll make that meter this meter equals this add image and we could just put it at zero, zero, because we're going to use that align grid to line it up. And green for the key. And this a grid, place it index, 100 this meter. And there it is down there. And to make it grow, we simply need to change the Y scale of it based on the power. So here, where the power is going up, we say this meter scale y equals this power. But you notice it's growing out from the center there. And we'd like it to just shoot up. And to do that, we simply need to change the orientation of that. And to do that, we simply need to change the origin, this meter set origin and we'll put it at 1, 1. Normally we either put it at 0 0.5 for both in the middle or at 0, 0 to the left top hand corner. This is going to put it at the bottom right hand corner. There it grows all the way up to 5. And then we need to reset the meter after we've stopped the jump. So on the end jump, this power equals zero, and this meter, scale y, equals zero. And we'll go ahead and set meter scale y equals zero up here at the top. So we won't see it then when we refresh it. And let's make the power go a little faster. We'll do it instead of 0.1, this power equals 0.5. And again, you're just going to have to play with it until you get the exact effect that you want. And we can make the ball fall faster by changing the gravity. We'll set the gravity to 200. There we go. So that could be a nice little game where you have a character jumping up to try to catch something and maybe something bad is down a little lower and you have to avoid that. I turn off the numbers there to look a little better. Let's see, turn off a grid show numbers. I'll just comment that out. I 
there we go. A meter and a jumping ball. Well, I hope that's been helpful for you. I thank you very much for watching. If you've got any other ideas on videos you'd like to see about Phaser 3, just leave a comment below and I'll do the best I can to accommodate. Thanks for watching.